the most difficult person that you will have to break up with is the old version of yourself. Now, that's if you want to improve in life. And that's if you want to just, you know, elevate in your career and your happiness and your self-love and your joy and your spiritual journey and your finances, whatever it is. You have to literally... I wonder if literally, literally, is it four syllables or is it just literally? What the fuck? Three syllables. Comment down below. Let me know. Literally or literally. I don't know. Comment down below. You have to kill the old version of you. And in the process of trying to kill that motherfucker, I ain't even going to lie. The old version of you is going to fight back. Especially if you've been the same motherfucking person for... 18, 20, 30 plus years, 40 years, some people, 50 years, you've had the same beliefs, uh, 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 limiting beliefs, negative mindsets, right? Imagine living years on years on years on years with the same programming. The old version of you is going to try to fight to stay alive. And this is one of the most, I can say the most challenging and can be one of the most frustrating things and battles that we go through, difficulties that we go through in life. Because anytime we want to level up, the old us is pulling us by our hair and shit, you know what I'm saying? Or our wigs and shit, or our motherfucking, um, shit, if you bald, what do they pull on? I don't know, your neck. You know what I'm saying? Like, the old version of you is going to be pulling on you. And it's so much easier just to go back. Cause that's your comfort zone that's what you're used to the old version of you might be hmm not taking risks not taking chances not believing in yourself living a fucking mediocre life just getting by going through the motions you know shit like that right and then all of a sudden you say, man, I done watched a few Divine Diamond videos and you know what? I'm inspired. I'm motivated. I'm ready to take action. I'm ready to change my life. I can do it. <laughs> I can do it. And guess what? You start trying to do it. Or maybe you even have some success doing it. And guess what happens? In the back door. Do, 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 do. <laughs> Motherfucking Jeepers Creepers. You know, thoughts from your old programming start to cloud your head, cloud your judgment. And what they say in your head, it's your old version, your old limiting beliefs trying to come back, right? You'll never, you'll, you'll, you'll never amount to nothing. Oh, this success is not, not going to last. Oh, you got lucky. This is not for you. It'll never work out. Just give up. Just give up. You're not good enough. Who do you think you are? You were never able to do anything like this. Yeah, you had some success with that, but what makes you think that you can level up? You don't have the skills. You don't have the resources. You don't have the money. You don't have the clout. Just quit while you're ahead. Don't disappoint yourself. Why would you want to do that to yourself? You're only letting yourself down. And I know a lot of you guys have experienced this. You see this a lot when people are on a weight loss journey. You know. They have some success initially. Initially, oh yeah man. It's only been a month. I lost 15 pounds. Then them thoughts come in from the old programming. You know what I'm saying? Because you still have the programming. If you don't change your mind. And you only change the external. You only try to eat better and you work out. But your mind, you haven't changed. Guess what? You still have the mind of the person who is overweight. Even though you might have hit your um, goal, right? You might have hit your goal. You wanted to lose 60 pounds, you know? And now you're at your goal weight. But if you still have the heavyweight mindset, it's only a matter of time before you revert back to that. 
That's why you see a lot of people backslide. Yeah, I lost 60 pounds, but girl, I don't know. I just started gaining it back because you didn't change your mindset. So when you didn't change your mindset, you weren't able to maintain the things that you were doing. You weren't able to kill that motherfucker, the old version of you. So it came back to haunt you. It took back over, you know? It's a challenging thing that we're talking about, y'all. This is, I ain't gonna lie. This is a struggle, you know, when it comes to anything. Because for so long, like I said, you have been programmed since birth. And, and some people, you know, it doesn't matter what it is, being overweight, it could be finances, you know. Imagine like your whole life struggling in poverty and you finally come up on some money and then you lose it. Let's talk about lottery winners, right? Lottery winners. What they do, damn, I hit the lottery. I've been broke forever, but now I finally hit the lottery. And what happens to 99% of lottery winners? They're back to what they were making before. Give it a year or two, maybe even five. If they last even that long. Why? Because their mindset never changed. So if your mindset doesn't change, whatever happened on the external will be short-lived. It's only going to be temporary. In order for you to have that permanent success and be able to maintain the results of your desires, right? You're going to have to shift your mindset. That's the only way to maintain it. Sure, anybody can attract this or attract that, but can you maintain it? Can you keep it? That's the real question. And nine times out of 10, you're not gonna be able to keep it if you don't change this. It all starts right here. This is the most important tool that we have at our disposal. The more that we can learn about how we work and how our mind works, the more we will be able to enjoy life. Point blank period. The more we stay in our comfort zone and say, ah, okay, it's, it's, it's a mediocre life, but I'm okay. You know, I'm blessed. <laughs> I'm content, you know? Comfort will kill happiness. It'll kill your joy. It'll kill any gleam of hope that you have for any type of success that you want in your life because you're saying this is good enough this is good enough this average old life and you know what if you want an average life i don't judge you but i feel like if you click this video you want to be more than average and you are more than average you just have to prove it to yourself you got to tap into the mental faculties that will allow you to grow beyond what you think your limits are because we are limitless i got it tatted right here we're limitless the only way that you will be limited is if you believe that you are limited the only way that you will be limited is if you stay in your comfy little bed and not do shit and just stay in your fucking comfort zone you're guaranteed to not grow <laughs> at all and it's a scary thing it's a scary thing to go into the unknown and not know what the fuck is gonna happen but if you are a believer in God which I believe you are or you wouldn't be on this channel if you are a believer in God or I don't know what y'all believe in mother nature universe I don't judge nobody right you believe in a higher power that is helping you guiding you on this thing that we call life then you would know that it takes faith. What the Bible say, faith of a mustard seed, you have to have faith. How strong is your faith? And a lot of us, our fear is stronger than our faith instead of our faith being stronger than our fear. When we mix that around, we finally put the faith on top, the fear on the bottom, that's the beginning of success. Because how are you gonna step out of your comfort zone if fear is at the top and faith is at the bottom. You have to have so much faith in God. We always talk about believing in ourselves, right? 
but believing in ourselves comes from believing in God believing well for me I can only speak for me my faith in myself and when my belief in myself has been the strongest is when I have placed my faith in God that I don't know what's gonna happen but <laughs> I believe that for things that I have no control over he will find a way as he always does yeah, I might be scared to do this or do that or whatever the case is, but guess what? God says, have no fear. I am here and I created you. You're a piece of me. I'm going to look out for you. As long as you put your faith in me. So when I do that, it's fucking easy as hell to believe in myself because I know God got me. But if I'm constantly trying to control every single solitary thing, well, I don't know how this is going to happen. Oh, man, now I'm worrying. Now I got doubt. Now all of this stuff. Now I'm telling God I don't need you. Now I'm going off of ego. I'm going off of my own ego by worrying, by doubting, by complaining, by trying to figure it out logically. You know what I'm saying? Like these things are coming from our ego. We have to. I know it's hard sometimes. But we have to let go and let God in the literal sense. The more that we let go and just allow God to work, he going to come in that motherfucker doing his thing every fucking time, man. But we don't allow him the space to help us because there's only space for one. Is it going to be your faith? Is it going to be your fear? A lot of us are run by fear. The news is run by fear. Drama is run by fear. Negativity, right? Majority of people are running off of fear. They're not running off of faith. We're programmed to run off of fear. What does more numbers? Fear-based material. People shooting guns, fucking school shootings, mall shootings. We got, you know what I'm saying? Drama, all this negativity is fear-based. If we're in a state of fear, we are easily manipulated, easily controlled. And they know if we believe in fear more than faith, God will never help us out. Because that's taking away God's power to be able to help us. If we say, God, you know what? I don't know what's going to happen. But I trust you. And you allow him to work. And you smile and you're genuinely happy anyway. Because you know that, look, God's got me. God is going to bless you. He's going to show you what he can do. But you have to create that space for God to move in. You got to let go and let God do his thing. Aren't you tired of trying to make it work? <laughs> Aren't you tired of trying to put all this effort in with, with little to no success? Aren't you tired of trying to figure everything out on your own? Give it to God. Make space for him to come in and help you. Because the miracles that can happen with God, you'll never be able to do on your own. Trust and believe. And you're going to know it was him because the way it's going to happen is going to be like, I don't even fucking know how it happened. This shit just magically happened. You know, but the magic came from you trusting God. And when you trusted God, you were able to trust in you. When you believed in God, you're able to believe in you. And a lot of people say, oh, I trust God. I got faith. Look, <laughs> faith is an action. It's not a cute little slogan that you didn't seen on a quote on IG story or motherfucking um, where, wherever, Pinterest. Faith is an action. You have to practice it. Just like gratitude is an action, you must practice it in order to attract more things to be grateful for. You must feel gratitude first. You must genuinely have faith. You cannot trick God saying, oh God, I have faith. It's more than just fucking words, y'all. <laughs> God goes off of emotions and he knows, oh, she's saying that she got faith, but her insides is telling me she ain't got no damn faith. She just saying that shit. Two people you can't lie to. Two people you cannot lie to. Yourself and God. God knows all, right? And you can't lie to yourself either. You might be saying, yeah, yeah, I, I got faith. But the inside of you, right, 
your inner being says, I ain't got no fucking faith, and he ain't going to figure it out just like I ain't figured it out. I don't know how it's going to happen, right? It's not your job to figure out how. God will find that out for you. There's limitless amount of ways that God can line shit up for you, but you're not giving him the space to do so. All right? So all of these things are important to know when you are building the new version of you. It's going to take a lot of faith and a lot of trust in God. And a lot of people speak on believing in themselves. But look, for me, believing in God and having faith in God did more to help my belief in, in myself than j just me believing in myself. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Because I know that me as a human being here, I'm li I'm still, I'm limitless, but I'm still limited, right? I become limitless when I allow God to work in my life. That's how I become limitless when I tap into God consciousness by allowing him to work for me, with me. Don't you want God to walk with you? We can't tell. <laughs> we cannot tell because every time we turn around, you're trying to control things and try to figure out how this is going to happen, how that's going to happen instead of giving it to him. That's all I'm going to say on this video. I love y'all. See y'all in the next one.